Hey everyone, John Capobianco here, and what we're talking about today is absolutely mind-blowing. Totally remarkable, one of the most incredible things you're going to see. VS Code has added MCP, Model Context Protocol, support. So, now we can enhance our IDE, our VS Code, as an MCP client. That's right, they've added MCP client capability. So now those USB-C like MCP servers, we just plug them into VS Code and increase the capability. It's kind of like extensions, but even more mind blowing. So let's take a look at how this is done and, and an example of a working one. So I would look at this. Um, this is in the Copilot chat MCP servers and they talk about what is MCP, MCP clients like VS Code, right? Request actions on behalf of the AI model. It supports tools, prompts, and resources. It supports standard input, output, and SSE. And how to add it to your VS Code. It's even easier. Don't be worried about all this stuff. But this is the document to find. So in VS Code, we're going to press the hot key and bring open the chat window. In the chat window, there's this little select tools when we're in agent mode. And we click this and we say add MCP server. We pick the type. Is it a Docker image, PIP, NPM, SSE, STDIO? The command to run, such as Python 3 or Node or whatever the command is. And it's gonna make this MCP servers section inside of the settings.json file. And this is my PyATS args. And it's running. So when you hit run, you can actually see the terminal logs here. So if I go back to my bash, no, my copilot, no, my output, sorry. This is <clears throat> the output of when I click on run. Okay, so it starts the server, it mounts the environment variable, it discovers the tools, and then away we go. I put some extra logging in there. Now in the terminal, the copilot will spawn terminals to do things. So in this conversation, and maybe I can crank up the view for everyone, it's really remarkable what has happened here. And let me close some of this. So um, I'd like you to help me analyze routing one's routing table after it's discovered some tools. It gives me the command uh, uh, here to run, and I tell it to go ahead and run the command. It runs the command, it's human in the loop, right? Please go ahead. It runs the command, and then, right, the show IP route command on R1 was successfully executed using the PyETS show run command tool. Here's a summary of the routing table, right inside of VS Code. Now I could plug this into other MCPs or do other things. Let's try to do one live here. Can we add a loopback 100 with an IP of 172, 16, 100, 100 slash 24 with a description of literally configured from VS Code and enable the port. So we're going to send that off. So use the reference. And it found the configured device tool and here's the command it wants to send. So I'm going to say proceed. So we're going to continue and send that, and it's going to go ahead and connect to R1 via PyETS, and it says it's been added successfully. What do you think? Do you think we just configured R1 loopback show run from VS Code? Literally configured from VS Code with the right IP address and it's enabled. From VS Code, I'm configuring and analyzing Cisco devices through MCP with little to no code, little to no overhead. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? 
Imagine the things that we're going to do together with these capabilities. Thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey, and I hope you're learning something. And really, start plugging MCPs into your IDEs today.